This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. If you like this video, please click subscribe, like, comment. It's great. Thank you. Today we're going to do a video on sharpening an SDS drill bit. Now, what is an SDS drill bit? Well, it's one that goes in an SDS drill like this. This is a very heavy duty SDS drill that does two things. Rotation, proper rotation, and hammering. And it's very effective at cutting through brick, stone, and concrete. Let's take a close-up look at these bits. These bits were developed by the Bosch company in Germany in the 70s. And again, they have a dual action. They're meant for a dual action, rotation and proper hammering. And what makes them special versus just a regular hammer drill are these flutes that allow ball motion to go in here so it, it's very good they're captured they don't fall out of the chuck and initially <clears throat> here's a tip of one too Bosch describes these as a spanner durch system also a zecht durch zitz that's the three steps but we know it as a special direct system here in the United States again these bits have a very special end with two captured areas for the ball, the bearing basically to go back and forth and then a slot. So there are four cut slots, two that are two that are blind and two that are open. And this is how they fit into the chuck. And the chuck is basically pulled back. This thing fits in here and it doesn't come out. With a regular rotary hammer, the chuck is banging going back and forth all the time in in this SDS mode it does not move. The basically just the bit is going back and forth and it's being hammered from an internal hammer and, and rotating in a very effective and proper method giving the maximum efficiency. So again let's just review the anatomy of these SDS bits. They are four machined slots, two open and two that are closed. This is where the ball, the ball for the, the bearing inside the chuck allows this to move back and forth but captures the bit so it doesn't fall out of the chuck. The tips of these chucks are typical carbide bits, carbide tips. They're brazed onto these high-speed steel shanks and they can be sharpened very well with a multiple with a multitude of sharpeners. I prefer the Derrick sharpener. Please refer back to a previous video I did on this Drill Doctor sharpener. It's excellent. Um, the way we sharpened an SDS masonry bit in this is number one, we move this slot. Here we have a standard bit, split point bit, and a masonry bit. This moves like this. We have it in the masonry bit spot. We'll put it in this smaller chuck, just very lightly close it, open up the two arms that are inside here, fit this in close this off and then tighten it. It lines the bit up perfectly so we can we can sharpen this. One thing we can do is we can blacken the edge of the carbide with a magic marker. And all we need to do is sharpen the leading edge of this. So we'll put it into the sharpener right now and sharpen it. We've already lined it up and now we're going to turn it on and, and just run it through this. And that did a pretty darn good job. You can see the shiny tip on the bit and the, the leading edge is perfectly shiny which means this bit is done. The sharpening is basically done. You see the shining leading edge on each side. That means this bit is sharp. Again we'll darken the, the
the edge of the carbide with magic marker so we can carefully see the whole thing. Then when we sharpen it, we'll see the sharp leading edge of the carbide. So let's fire it up. You can hear the symmetrical sounds. And grind each one of the flutes. Leading edge actually is good. Leading edge is good because this bit will twist this way. Again, let's mark the cutting edge of this carbide insert or cut actually blacken the entire edge and let's run it through the sharpener yeah great you see how the leading edge is perfectly shiny on both sides. The point is in the center. This bit is very sharp. Now let's take a look at the largest bit I own. This is a three quarter inch and you can see how the leading edge nice and shiny but a little black on the back which is fine because that's, needs, that's at a lower level. But the cutting edge is shiny and behind it is black. That's great because that means that's lower than the leading edge which is what we want. So again, thank you very much for watching. Again, please click subscribe, Adventures with Dr. Joe. This is a good way to sharpen these fantastic SDS bits, which are great, again, for brick, stone, concrete, mortar. They'll go through anything. And with the SDS hammer, the chuck is holding that in place. And these are very, very efficient because it has a proper rotation as well as a strong hammer function. Again, consider clicking subscribe, like, Comments are very welcome, and as always, please stay safe.